Many people who are concerned about our modern food environment find themselves in search of simple rules. This is why so many fad diets gain a following even when there's very little science behind them. People want easy to follow dietary advice, but the human diet is inherently complex. Having said that, there are simple ways of wording sound dietary advice. Here's one of the best examples. Michael, you use a simple framework for delivering a lot of your advice on how to approach one's relationship with food. And what comes to mind is your kind of mantra, eat food, not too much, mostly plants. Yeah. Well, you know, coming up with those seven words, which I'm afraid will be on my gravestone unless I, don't, <laughs> unless I come up with something better soon, um, is, uh, is the result of a very long process of examining the science of nutrition. But as I got deeper and deeper and deeper, I realized, well, actually, the key issue is, are you eating real food? or what I like to call edible food-like substances, which is to say processed foods. And so the phrase, eat food, I realized that's really what you need to know to eat well. Eat food, by which I mean real food. But then I realized that isn't quite enough because we're also eating too many calories. So not too much became part of the mantra. And then lastly, I was like, well, within the range of foods, is there a class that's better than another class? And one of the things we know is that people who eat lots of plant foods tend to have much better health and better longevity than people who eat a heavy meat diet. So mostly plants, not all plants, mostly is I'm, I'm trying to be very reasonable and, and um, although it tends to offend both vegetarians and carnivores when you say mostly plants. So eat food, not too much, mostly plants is basically, I think, all you need to know. Now, eat food is probably the hardest part of that to understand because isn't all that stuff in the supermarket food? Well, I would argue it's not, and I would argue a lot of it are relatively new, highly processed, edible food-like substances that really are what gets most people into trouble around eating. They tend to have lots of refined sugars, lots of refined fats, and very little fiber, very little of the antioxidants you find in plants. And basically, they were designed for long shelf life these processed foods and um, the way you make a food last longer is you take out what is nutritionally valuable. I'm talking about omega-3 fatty acids, I'm talking about fiber, all these things don't store well. So we've gone down a path of, of eating a lot of things that shouldn't be dignified with that beautiful word, food. Replacing the highly processed food in our diets with reasonable amounts of real food, including plenty of plant-based foods, is sound advice for people who want to protect their health. And Pollen's mantra, eat food, not too much, mostly plants, these seven words can be a helpful guide for anyone who wants to keep it simple when it comes to choosing food.